Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to handle distributed loading with the stiffness method. These are just some examples on how distributed loading looks, typically on elements. Now the stiffness method only considers nodal forces and moments. And this poses a problem because we always or most of the time want to handle distributed loading. So what do we do with them? We want to derive some way of converting these distributed loadings into nodal forces and moments. This is usually done by applying the fixed end reactions of the distributed loads to the nodes. And this basically looks something like this. You only have a distributed loading, in this case uniformly distributed over an element and then the equivalent or fixed end reaction forces are applied at the different nodes. As you can see here, yeah, this will become more clear in an example. So yeah, just look at this or stay on this channel for an example on this. Um, next, how do we determine the fixed interactions? There are mainly two ways to do this. Can be done by hand by using equilibrium, shear and bending force, or bending moment diagrams, or it can be read from some sort of table. There are many available on the internet. I know some textbooks also have lists of these tables available and please make use of them if they are available to you. By hand is non-ideal as well as time consuming and for the purpose of solving moments and reactions it's not ideal or not time efficient as well to do this. It's not in my view, part of the exercise, so when you can make life a bit easier for yourself, please do so. And that's why I don't make a recommend doing this by hand. From a table, it's a lot faster, it's also just a very simple calculation. And as I mentioned, there are many different tables available. These are just two examples of tables. This is for a uniform distributed loading, you apply the fixed in moment or fixed in reactions, and you get the value of the moment at each node as well as the shear force or the vertical down force of the distributed loading. In this case this will be the same which is why I put, added the triangular loading example as well so you can see how these, value dif these values differ for different nodes but this is also going to be in a certain example. What about middle supports? If you have a problem like this, you know, have a super loading on the left side of the node and the right side, what happens at this middle node? And it's actually quite simple. You combine loading from both sides and sum them, sum them together to obtain a net loading. Um, simple explanation is, let's just look at the vertical down forces at node 2 there will be a vertical down force from this distributed loading on the right side as well as a vertical down force from the distributed loading from the left side. So to get the effective or the net loading at that you just sum those two together. Also just to note the sign or directions of these loads will be when you look at the node and the loading will obviously the loading would mostly act upon or onto the member so it would be downwards in the case when you have a tensile loading it will be upwards but that's not very popular and also for moments you just look at which way is the the severe loading acting for example for this member at node 2 this moment will be anti-clockwise and the applied moment from the right hand side will be clockwise and for the effective loading at you will take the difference between these loadings and for the outside nodes the effective moment from this distributed loading will be in a clockwise direction also this distributed loading on this element has no influence on the node at this far in so you just consider element by element by element for this. Okay, if this is not clear, please look at my examples. I will make a few more of them. Uh, I think I only have one currently. But yeah, please um, ask something in the comment section if it's unclear. I will get back to you. 
And now, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Thank you very much.